Howdy guys, I'm Aiden of Blue Couch Productions and welcome to my review of A Charlie Brown Christmas. I remember watching this special a ton as a kid and I got nostalgic for it recently. Apparently, I'm not the only one. People talk about this special all the time and in fact it's kind of become a little bit divisive in recent years. You have two camps of people. The one camp that think it's the greatest Christmas special of all time, a masterpiece, something to be watched every year as an all-time classic. And then you have the people that think it's a little bit overrated. Why do people put so much stock into a special made in the 60s of all things? Why are people so attached to this Peanuts Christmas special? And I guess I'm making this video a little bit for, for those people, as well as for the people who enjoy it, and just sort of give my take on this all-time classic. How does this special sort of go down in terms of plot? Well, I'll give you I'll give you a bit of a recap, a bit of a scene-by-scene -scene recap. So the special starts with what Peanuts do best, in my opinion, really setting this atmosphere and mood. As soon as that piano kicks in, I'm already just transported to the world of Charlie Brown and gang. I see the people skating on the lake. I see the snow falling down. I see Charlie Brown and Linus, and I feel like I'm there, actively involved in just sort of this Christmas mellow spirit. Try to catch snowflakes on your tongue. It's fun. Mmm. Need sugar. And a lot of Christmas specials at the time, you gotta keep in mind, were very loud, very bombastic, holly, jolly, all this cheer. I think of the Rudolph specials and how sort of big and bombastic those were. And then comparing all these big Christmas specials, the old ones and the new ones, to this, and just really being taken aback by how mellow and relaxed it was. Peanuts was never about the bigger bombastic. It was never about the animation. It was never about blowing your mind. It was about creating just a small, mellow atmosphere and mood and telling some really good jokes along the way. So already we're off to a pretty good start with this special. Charlie Brown is talking to Linus about how he feels depressed. He's supposed to be feeling happy around Christmas, but he just isn't really getting that cheer at all. And I totally understand where he's coming from in that aspect. Christmas is supposed to be a happy time, but if you're not feeling your best or your mental health isn't where it's supposed to be, it can feel like you're sort of an outcast. Like you're just sort of that weird kid who feels bad around Christmas and all of them are, all the other kids are like, Charlie Brown, you really are <laughs> just sort of a depressive sad sack. Only you would ruin Christmas like this. And they're all kind of making fun of him or whatever. And he goes to Lucy who has this psychiatric help building for only five cents, I might add. She's offering therapy for five cents. That's a good deal. If, if therapists now were like five cents, I'd be going there every day. But she's out here offering therapy. Uh, Charlie Brown puts that little nickel in there and she's like, ooh, ooh, I love the sound of money. I just love when that money hits that jar. It just fills my heart with joy. And Charlie Brown's like, what am I, <laughs> what am I doing here? Why am I listening to this? All this sort of stuff. And then she finally gets the advice and she says, Charlie Brown, what you need to do is you need to get involved. You need to get involved with with the Christmas spirit. Oh, I know, we have a play and I'll let you be the director. Charlie Brown's like, me? The director? But little old me? And she's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and be the director. And so <laughs> the next part of the special just sort of revolves around this play. Charlie Brown is the director. He's trying to set it up. He wants it to be the best Christmas play. He doesn't want it to be commercial. He didn't want it to have all these big flashy products in it. He's just trying to focus on making the best special he could. And every time he tries to direct or do something, he looks over and all the kids are dancing. They're just constantly dancing. They're singing, they're dancing, all this sort of stuff. And I just feel like the Grinch in the scene. I'm like, all this noise. Why is <laughs> all this noise, noise, noise? I hate the noise. And Charlie Brown's just fed up with it. He's like, I'm trying to direct. And all you people do is just keep dancing some more. And, and eventually he gets kind of mad and it's kind of his fault as well because he starts to get a little too pushy and stuff like that. And we get a lot of really good jokes between characters like Pigpen, like Lucy, uh, Charlie Brown's sister, Linus, etc. I can't memorize something like this so quickly. Why should I be put through such agony? Give me one good reason why I should memorize this. I'll give you five good reasons. One, two, three, four, five. Those are good reasons. And so Lucy kind of seeing this is like, yo, 
Charlie Brown, you need to go get a Christmas tree for the play. You need to find a really nice tree. You need to go ahead and bring it to the play and pick out something good. I'm counting on you to pick out something good. Charlie Brown's like, okay. And he takes Linus with him. And they're at the Christmas tree yard. And uh, they're all metal. They're all, it's a bunch of metal trees. They're big. They're pizzazzy. They have pink on them. They're all these different colors. Nothing natural at all in this entire Christmas tree yard. And Charlie Brown sees this one little tree, this sort of... <laughs> almost it has no like pine needles or, or leaves or anything on it it's just mainly like a bunch of sticks <laughs> it's a really raggedy looking christmas tree and charlie brown's like this is the one and linus is like are you sure it's you know kind of lucy said we needed to bring back a great tree and, Li and uh, charlie brown's like no this is the tree they're gonna love it it's gonna be amazing we're gonna bring this tree back and of course he brings the tree back and he just gets gaslighted and bullied <laughs> by all the kids at the theater like what on earth is this tree charlie brown you messed up again you ruined the play it's over and uh something about peanuts and bullying i don't know what it is but they really do know how to make these kids feel like the the biggest of jerks but also relatable at the same time to where you don't get mad at any of them like Lucy herself as a character is a top-notch bully really knowing how to make people feel bad but you're never at any point being like oh she's an awful character or oh she's the worst you, you hate her but not not in a way where you're like oh this character is awful you love seeing her on screen you love seeing her being antagonistic and you love seeing these kids kind of rag on Charlie Brown and being like Charlie Brown <laughs> what is this awful tree you brought and so Charlie Brown gets fed up He's like, ugh, I, I don't I don't understand anymore. What even is the meaning of Christmas? And Linus is like, yo, I got you. I'll tell you the real meaning of Christmas. He's like, lights, and the lights go out. And that's weird because there's no one operating <laughs> this play at all. There's no, like, technicians. So how do the lights go off in that instance? Whatever, it's a nitpick. The glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, fear not. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. It's a great moment. Linus himself, I've always thought, was just a great speaker. He could really kind of command an audience in a stage anytime he was on. Uh, just his intelligence in general. Linus is just such an interesting character to me. But he gets off the stage after saying all that, and Charlie Brown finally, in the special, is happy. He has a happy face, and we're not sure why. And he takes his tree and he leaves the theater and all the kids sort of follow behind them. And he gets back to the house and he sees Snoopy. And Snoopy, by the way, this entire time, <laughs> I haven't even mentioned it yet. Snoopy this entire time has entered a contest, a decorating contest and whoever decorates their house the best, they get like a little uh, little medal type thing. And so uh, Charlie Brown comes back and Snoopy of course has won first prize. And Charlie Brown's like, ugh, man, even my dog's gone commercial, but that won't, that won't ruin it for me. And he starts to take one decoration off of Snoopy's house and he puts it on the tree and the sad little tree just starts to fall over and you feel really bad. You feel so defeated. You're like, oh, Charlie Brown is finally happy. He finally has his moment to put this tree together. And the first thing he puts on, it slumps over and Charlie Brown says, I've killed it. I've ruined the tree. It's over. And I'm just like, oh, Charlie, man, you can't be doing this to me. So he walks off. And then kind of like uh, the Great Pumpkin special where the end is sort of this heartwarming sign of compassion from Lucy and the other kids. Uh, this special does an even better job at it because when Charlie Brown leaves, all the other kids come and they're like, well, it's not an awful tree. Like, I don't hate it. And all of them kind of come together. They take all the decorations off of Snoopy's house and they put it on the tree and they make it look the best it's ever been. And then they just, they just start singing. They just start singing Christmas music and it's real peaceful and it's real swell. And then the best scene of Charlie Brown coming back, realizing what they did to the tree, realizing that they've made it all nice just for him, the real sign of compassion. And then he just starts singing too. And that's just sort of how the special ends. We sort of pan out and we get to see all of them singing and then the credits kind of roll and it's just like, wow. What's going on here? Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown! Hark the 
special started out with very atmospheric music really putting you in the Christmas spirit and sort of the end does a similar thing but in a more hopeful way in a more like all right Christmas maybe isn't so bad after all type of way and that's just how the special ends but now that we've done a sort of a plot recap what are my overall thoughts on the special the good the bad etc I think one of the highlights is definitely the humor that sort of classic peanuts adult humor where they'll tell jokes that really only adults will understand incidentally I know how you feel about all this Christmas business getting depressed and all that it happens to me every year I never get what I really want I always get a lot of stupid toys or a bicycle or clothes or something like that. What is it you want? Real estate. It's just so good, honestly. And again, the, the Lucy and the Charlie Brown psychiatric scene is also really good. Um, but I don't want to ruin all the jokes, so I'll just save the rest of them for you when you go watch it yourself. But the humor is a strong point. The atmosphere in the music is a strong point. Anytime that piano comes in, like I said, I really just do get transported into the world and I think it does an even better job than the Great Pumpkin special at really kind of engrossing you in the Christmas mood and spirit. If I had to think of any negatives, I would say that the biggest is just sort of the stilted pacing. A lot of scenes kind of transition very abruptly from one to the next and so you really don't get time to digest anything and it just kind of feels a little bit haphazard with how it was produced. The play, for example, is supposed to be this big part of the plot, and then it just kind of gets dropped for this Christmas tree thing. And I do like the Christmas tree stuff, but the play itself is, just seems like such a big focus that when it ends up getting dropped at the end, you're kind of wondering, okay, why though? <laughs> like, not a whole lot happens in this special. It's like 28 minutes, but when you count off all the events on your hand, there really isn't much going on outside of a couple of jokes and some atmospheric stuff. So I think that's really the only negative. The last thing I want to touch on is just sort of the message overall. The special was made in the 60s, and to hear it comment about how Christmas is so commercial, it just hits harder in a 2021 world, where we live in times where people go for Black Friday deals the day after Thanksgiving. We're in a world where we put so much stress on Christmas and the types of things we buy and the food that we make and building this Christmas tree and trying to make it this big spectacular event. And with all that, we get this enormous amount of stress to try to make our family feel good and to try to really invoke that Christmas spirit. And it's kind of put ourselves into sort of this bitter type of mood. We go to Christmas and we see all these commercials about all these presents and toys and deal buster savings and the Thanksgiving ham is 50% off at Kroger, guys. I gotta go to Kroger right now. And it's just much. It's just way too much for what is a holiday that's just supposed to be about being with your family and appreciating the time you have together. And considering, again, that this was made in the 60s, that message really does stick even now. And I think that's just sort of a great part about this special and why people watch it year in and year out is because the message about consumerism and capitalism kind of ruining Christmas is still true. The special is timeless in a lot of aspects and its humor and its characters and the topics that it's discussed and the message overall. So overall, I would recommend a Charlie Brown Christmas. I'd recommend it for the jokes, for the atmosphere, for the mood, and for the message as a whole. Let me know what you guys thought about this special down below, and uh, if you want me to do more videos like this where I'm just in front of the camera talking about a piece of media that I really love, let me know, and I might do more. This is the first kind of video I've had with this setup. But uh, yeah, with all that being said, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. But above all else, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Goodbye.